Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. I am Akshay Parmar, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in ITSE Department. Welcome to the video tutorial series of the Internet of Things. Today we are going to discuss about messaging protocol. Right? In this session, we are focusing on the MQTT protocol, the message queuing telemetry transport. Right? So mainly, uh, you have one question arise there. By heading the term, the messaging protocol, you have one question arise. Why these protocols are uh, having in the messaging? Right? Why this messaging protocol is there in the IoT? Right? So mainly, the messaging protocols are very important for transferring the data in terms of messages. Right? They are useful for sending or receiving the message to the cloud or from the cloud in the IoT application. Right? You all are aware about the sensors are sensing the data and they are sending the data to the cloud for the storage purpose and after some kind of processing at the cloud, they are getting some kind of command. Right? They are receiving the some kind of command from the cloud. Right? So at that time, the messaging protocol is useful. Right? So in this section, we are going to discuss the two protocols. First one is an MQTT, the message queuing telemetry protocol and another one is a constraint application protocol, the COAP in brief. Right? So let's begin with the message queuing telemetry transport. Right? The MQTT stands for the message queuing telemetry transport. Right? As we all are aware about, the IoT has one of the biggest challenge of resource constraint. Right? They are there. Uh, that's why the lightweight protocol is preferable in whenever you are working with an IoT. Right? So, MQT is widely used in IoT application as it is a lightweight protocol. You are heard a new term, the lightweight protocol. Right? Then you have a question arise. What is this lightweight protocol? Right? And what does this term lightweight means? Right? Here, the lightweight term means it can work with minimal resources and doesn't require any specific hardware architecture or additional resources, right? So yes, the lightweight means it can work with minimal resources, right? The number of the devices can be minimal. And then only this protocol is helps to transfer the data to and from to the cloud, right? Uh, that doesn't require any specific hardware architecture or additional resources as we are all aware about, right? So, how this FUD protocol is working, right? It works in publish and subscribe pattern, right? Here, the MQT working can be explained as we can discuss about, uh, discuss as follow, right? The publisher node sends the message to the MQT broker, right? So here, the publisher node is sending the message to the mediator that is the MQT broker in our cases, right? After that, the MQT broker is getting that message from the publisher itself and then that messaging bro broker, the MQT broker transmit that message to the subscribe destination, right? Here, here we have an, uh, one, two subscriber, right? That subscriber are getting the information from the MQT broker itself, right? They are not getting information directly from the publisher. Yes, uh, here, yes, they are getting the information from the publisher itself, but not directly. Here, they need a mediator MQT broker, right? So the publisher is sending the data to the MQT broker and then broker is transmitted, transmitting the data to the end destination, right? So let's take an example. Suppose a temperature sensor is connected to the any system and we want to monitor that temperature. The controller is connected to the temperature sensor which is publishes the temperature value to the MQT broker with the topic name temperature, right? Hence it is considered as a publisher, right? So here the MQT temperature sensor is connected with the MQT broker and it is publishing that a particular temperature value into the uh, to the MQT broker with the topic name temperature, right? So that's why this is called the MQT publisher, right? After that, that MQT broker transmits the temperature value to the subscriber, right? So here, in our, our case, we have a two subscriber who is subscribed to the topic the temperature, right? The, so, and the uh, subscriber, right? After subscribing to the topic, if the publisher is sending the, some data to the MQT broker, then that MQT broker is transmitting that particular topic's data to the subscribed node, right? So remember that 
temporary broker transfer the temporary value to the subscriber and note that one thing is that only the node which have subscribed to that particular topic will capture the data not any other nodes are getting that information right so we here the two nodes have subscribed to the topic temperature and then after they are getting the information about the temperature of or from the topic name temperature which is published by the publisher right and they are retransmitted by the temperature broker right even we have an, so many devices connected with the system right if that uh, system if an, uh, if that particular device has subscribed to the topic then and then only they are getting the information other nodes are not getting the information because they doesn't have subscribed to the particular topic right so here uh, subscriber 1 hasn't subscribed to the particular topic then it is not getting that this information which is sended in the umbrella of the temperature right in the topic name of the temperature right so you have one question arise sir can publisher and the subscriber interchange their role so let's say let's take an example of the driverless car for that right a gps sensor is connected to the car which gives the current location of the car right so let's take an example of the driverless car right so here you are all aware about what is gps and all that thing right so here the gps sensor is connected to the car which gives the current location of the car right so that car is connected with a gps sensor the system in the car publishes the location to the mpt broker with the topic name current location right so that sensor is publishing the data about the location to the mqd broker under the topic name of the current location after that the server or the computer or the device who are subscribed to the topic current location and they are receiving the current location of that particular car right so that's how they are getting the information about that particular location of the car based on the current selected destination the server or the computer or the device compute the direction of the car right this data is published to the equity broker with the topic name direction right after that they are sending back the data to the equity broker right to get the command from the server the system in the car has to subscribe to the topic name direction right after subscribing to that particular topic name direction that particular car is getting the information which is falling under the topic name direction right according to the command received from the server the car will run in the particular direction right so that's how they can interchange their role according to the requirement in the mqdd the client do not have any address like typical networking scheme right so they don't have any addressing scheme the broker filter the message based on the subscribed topics right so here the broker filters the message based on the subscribed topic the message will then be circulated to the respective subscribers right so by that equity uh, broker it is sending the information to the one who has subscribed to the particular topic the topic name can be the anything in the string format right the equity working can be explained with an example of the television broadcast so let's take an example of the television broadcast right so television broadcast station broadcaster station broadcast all the channels that we all know right but at the user side the user subscribe to the favorite channels only they doesn't require all of the channels right similar in the mqd the publisher node publishes the data with the topic name and the instructed subscriber can subscribe to the particular topic right note that there can be the multiple subscriber of the same topic as well as the single subscriber can subscribe to the multiple topics right so here you can observe that the multiple subscriber can subscribe the same topic as well as one single subscriber can subscribe to the multiple topic also right so that's how the mqdd pro mqdd protocol is working after that let's see what is node in the mqdd the node in the mqdd collects the information from the sensors or the other input de input devices in the case of the publisher right so here the publisher is getting the information from the sensors or other input devices right it connects to the messaging server known as the mqdd broker right so here 
the MQTT broker is working as a messaging server, right? It connects to the messaging server known as an MQTT broker, right? A specific string or topic is used to publish the message and let other node understand the information, right? That nodes are considered as a subscriber, right? The nodes who are getting the information from that particular topic is called a subscriber for that particular topic, right? Any node, right? After that, that topic name, the sense data is sent to the particular MVD broker, right? So with the help of the MVD broker, it is retransmitted to the subscriber node, right? So that's how the data is transmitted from the publisher to the subscriber, right? Here any node can be the publisher or the subscriber and node is also referred as is to be client also, right? Quality of service in the MQT, right? The MQT supports different kind of QoS, right? The quality of the service level, right? There are the three layer of the quality of service supported by the MQT, the level zero, right? At most once. So here the best effort is required and no acknowledgement is required, right? So we can say that the best effort is required, but we don't require any acknowledgement for that. After that, the level number one is there, right? So here at least once, right? So it is acknowledged and retransmitted if the acknowledgement is not received. And in the level number two, it is for working as an exactly one, right? It is requested to the send and after, after reaching to the destination, it is clearing to the send also, right? After that, let's see what do you mean by the publisher and let, how its code implementation is working, right? So whenever you are working with an MQT protocol, let's see how it can be look like in the code fragments, right? The code for the MQT publisher is shown, is, uh, shown in this particular figure, right? So here we have included this particular header file, right? This is including that header file library for enabling that Wi-Fi connection with that protocol, right? So without importing this particular header file, we cannot connect that Wi-Fi protocols and all that things, right? After that, we are also subscribed to the public uh, public subscriber client dot edge, right? So by this particular line, we are including that particular library for use of the MQT protocol and their functions, right? Their functions are lying under that particular header file. After that, we have taken the few of variables, right? The SSID and the passwords is there, right? We have selected the two constants for that, right? Here in that particular SSID, we have written an one plus TJ and in the password, we have written some of the password there, right? This is line is defining the parameter for the Wi-Fi connections, right? After that, there is an MQT server is there, right? By this particular line, the line number six, right? We are defining that MQT server or broker for publishing the message on the particular topic, right? Uh, that's how we are selecting that particular thing. After that, for the setting the Wi-Fi, we have one function, set up Wi-Fi, right? This is a MQT publisher dot INO, right? So here, the Wi-Fi dot mode is equal to, this is initiating that Wi-Fi module as a station mode. By this line number 19, we are initializing that Wi-Fi module as a station mode, right? After that, Wi-Fi dot begin, in the bracket, we are giving them some parameter, the SSID and the password right which we have already stored in that particular constants right so the, it is connecting that wi-fi modules with that v1 ssid and the password right after that it is che checking the status of the wi-fi right it is trying until the wi-fi is not connected to the given ssid with the delay of the half of the second with delay of half of the second because we have predefined uh, predefined that particular delay of the 500 milliseconds after that at the client side right what kind of thing is there right for that the client dot set server here we are writing mqt server and the port number right this line connects the client to the mqt server stored in the mqt server with the port number a1883 right after that the while loop is there right this is exu executing the syntax in a loop until that special ESP is not connected, internet service provider is not connected to the MQT broker, right? After that, we are defining the client ID to the MQT broker or the 
server with this particular string right in the, by the line, line number 37 right after that the client id dot c dot c underscore star this is returning that pointer of the string client id to the array right after that the publishing announcement message after the connecting to the mpt broker with the topic name lgit slash iot slash parmasai right so that's how we are working with an mpt broker right after that the this function the client dot loop right this functions allows the client to process the incoming messages publish that data and refers to the connection right after that this line is creating a string in message with the given buffer size and assigning the value hello world with concentration of the integer named value right at the end the client dot publish right this line is publishing that message to the given topic name right so that's how this working after that let's see the mqt subscriber side of code right so this is the code for that and likewise we have to add that particular library or the header file in the starting of the particular code right so by this particular first two line we are enabling that wifi connection for the protocol and we are adding that mqt protocol and their functions right after that the line number 4 and 5 is similar right they are storing the information about the wifi connection right the ssid and the password is stored in that particular variable right after that then we are defining that mqt server or a broker for publishing the message on particular topic right so that's how that what so that's how that subscriber is having the, their work right after that the wifi dot mode in the bracket we are giving in some kind of parameter the wifi underscore sta right this is this is initialize that wifi module as a station mode right after that the wifi dot begin the ssid and the password we are providing in the parameter list right so this is connecting the wifi module with the given ssid and the password right after that let's see let's check an wifi status for that right so try until the wifi is not connected to the given ssid within delay of the half of the second because we have mentioned that delay of the half of the seconds there right after that at the subscriber code this particular this particular function is a call back function for receiving the message every time when the client dot loop function is executing right this function accept that particular argument character pointer of the topic and the character pointer of the payload and the length of the payload right so by this that particular function is accepting the argument for that right after that by this particular code segment it is executing the for loop and then all the characters of the payload are printed right the type casting of the payload into the equivalent character and then printing that on the serial monitor which is we are handling with that particular line right after that the mqt subscriber then we have a client dot set callback and here we are providing a callback function there there right so this is an built in function client dot set dot callback right in this the public subscriber client library and it calls the function callback every time when the client dot loop function is executed after that we subscriber to the topic name subscriber right so here if the client is subscribing subscribing to the particular topic they can be subscribed with the client dot subscribe and in the bracket we can mention that particular topic name right so that's about an mqt protocol in this session we have seen why this mqt protocol is there why we are working that particular protocol and why it is life changing protocol for transferring the data from one device to the another device right so that's all about today's session thank you for the watching